Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to explore the idea behind the spinning universe. Or basically try to tackle the question, is the universe spinning or is it just expanding in a single direction? Something that was recently investigated in this study by... Alright, here we go, time to butcher some names. Balaz, Andri, Zigeti, Istvan, Zaputi and some other difficult to pronounce people that actually did create a model that discovered something somewhat intriguing. But before we discuss the study, let's briefly discuss some of the previous propositions and also talk about why the majority of scientists today do not believe the universe is actually spinning. And I guess let's start with the facts first. We almost certainly know the universe is expanding and it's also accelerating its expansion as you go farther and farther away. Today it's still unknown why, but the observational evidence is definitely there. Likewise, we also know that individual objects in the universe love spinning. Stars, planets, clusters, galaxies and even galactic clusters seem to rotate, sometimes even at their limit. Which obviously leads us to the next question. So what about the entire universe? Is there any chance that the entire universe is spinning as well? And this question has been recently addressed in one of the studies we've discussed in the description, where based on observational evidence of a lot of different galaxies out there, surprisingly it was discovered that quite a few galaxies seem to spin in the same direction. And in that particular study, the conclusion was that basically, maybe this is because the universe is also spinning, and so as a result, it forces many galaxies to assume the same rotation as well. Although this is not a widely accepted proposition, and a more likely explanation is that many of these galaxies are just connected with the cosmic web, which generally does have a somewhat similar angular momentum, producing same rotation. But at the moment we're just going to leave that as a mystery. Intriguingly though, this particular study became a bit controversial because the overall conclusion here was that since the universe could be spinning, we might be living inside some kind of a massive black hole. And while technically the observational evidence does not support that either. In other words, we are unlikely to be living inside a black hole, but at the moment this is still a bit of an open question. And the thing is, when it comes to this idea of the rotating universe, one of the first questions we should be asking is, so why would it be spinning to begin with? Because for example, for things like galaxies, stars, planets and so on, here rotation is the result of gravitational forces inside these systems. And so in order for the whole universe to spin, Something else needs to be going on here, because the gravity would not be able to create this rotational force. And more importantly, if the universe was indeed spinning, we would actually have definitive signs based on a lot of observations in different frequencies. For example, light coming from opposite directions would actually look a little bit different. It might be just a little bit redshifted on one side and a little bit blue shifted on the other. Or at least if the universe was spinning fast enough. But based on the observations of the cosmic microwave background, and based on surveys of very distant galaxies, this doesn't really seem to be the case. So far most of the galactic surveys and most of the surveys involving distant universe seem to show the universe as relatively similar in every direction. With the overall conclusion being made a few years back, being that if the universe is spinning, or if it's rotating, it cannot be doing so faster than about one billionth of degree every billion years. So basically here the rotation would be barely perceivable. Although here I do have to mention something that was bugging astronomers and cosmologists approximately 10 years ago. The so-called cosmological axis of evil. And this was based on some of the earlier observations of the cosmic microwave background that revealed a potential presence of a kind of an axis that would maybe imply some kind of a rotation. Basically here there was a somewhat unexpected alignment suggesting a kind of a preferred direction that the universe seemed to possess. And this was definitely unexpected and in opposition to the modern cosmological principles. Because the universe should be same in all directions. It should be isotropic. And while it wasn't until 2016 that it eventually became not really a problem. With much more accurate observations from ESA's Planck telescope, Researchers confirmed that this was some kind of a bias and was not actually there at all. The universe indeed seemed to be isotopic and pretty much similar in every direction. Or basically the axis of evil was just a result of poor data. And so unlike previous observations that the top half of the CMB was just a little bit colder, here these new observations suggested that this was not the case. And so basically most of the modern observations do actually provide evidence for the non-rotating universe 
and no axis of any kind, and the universe being the same in every direction, just as predicted by the Big Bang Theory. However, here it's also important to mention another intriguing model. A model proposed as a kind of a thought experiment to disprove some of the Einsteinian principles, and was proposed by this person, Kurt Godel. A major 20th century influencer in scientific and philosophical thinking, who basically proposed a lot of different ideas and a lot of different models, mostly in the field of logic. And in 1949 he proposed something to basically question Einsteinian theories. The idea of the rotating universe and what this might produce. And his main point was to prove that general relativity proposed by Einstein was incomplete. Here he used the example of rotating universe that contained only one ingredient, a kind of a negative cosmological constant that would prevent the universe from expanding, making it constant. This, by the way, was before the idea of expansion and before the Big Bang Theory. And so here, in a spinning universe, we would have these centrifugal forces that would technically cause the expansion. But living in such universe would be super strange. Mostly because here, you actually suddenly had the idea of time travel as long as you start traveling somewhere far away. Now, first of all, for every single observer in every single location, the universe would appear to be spinning and you would appear to be in the center of the spin. Or basically, you as the observer would be the axis. And though back then this actually appeared to be strange, today this is exactly how we explain the expansion of the universe as well. The universe appears to be expanding in every direction from every single point in the universe. But things do get a bit stranger once you start traveling far away. Because here, any information and any light will actually start curving as it moves around this rotating universe. Or essentially, even though things are traveling straight, because they're inside the spinning object, their movement will start curving. And at some point, at a very far away location, anything that's traveling straight will actually curve so much that it's now traveling back. Eventually coming back to where it all started. But this is where things get just a little bit strange. Anything that comes back from this unusual journey actually finds itself back in time. Or basically arrives to the location where it has not left yet. So yeah, it traveled back in time. And to Godel this presented a major logical problem. This basically created a time paradox and violated notions of causality. He actually used the example of a rocket traveling really fast, really far, and basically coming back in time before it even left. And to Godel this was the reason he believed general relativity was incomplete and didn't really make a lot of sense. Mostly because here it created this time travel paradox. Luckily for Einstein, and luckily I guess for us, all of the evidence points at two things. First, Einstein seems to be correct with most of the predictions when it comes to relativity. And second, there is no evidence that the universe seems to be spinning at all. In other words, even though Godel's model is correct in terms of thought experiments, this doesn't seem to apply to our universe. If you want to read more about this, by the way, it's known as the Godel metric, and the link for this is in the description. But now we have this new study that once again focuses on a kind of a reworked version of the Godel ideas and tries to actually solve one of the biggest mysteries in cosmology. This is essentially the title of the study, Can Rotation Solve the Hubble Puzzle? And the puzzle is of course the famous Hubble tension, which is now technically referred to as the Hubble crisis. The now basically undisputed evidence that not only is the universe expanding and is also accelerating its expansion, it seems to have changed the acceleration over time. Or to rephrase this, the idea known as the dark energy that's supposedly accelerating everything and is potentially connected to the famous cosmological constant seems to have changed over time and the cosmological constant may not be a constant. Currently this has no explanation, or at least explanation based on any specific evidence, but in this study the proposition is that, technically, things do make a little bit more sense if the universe is spinning just a little bit. So basically here, by developing a kind of a Godel-based spinning model, the team showed that if we apply the same rules to the modern universe, but also add just a little bit of rotation into the mix, the model seems to resolve this Hubble tension without contradicting any current cosmological measurements, while also being compliant to the idea of rotating universe, but because it's spinning so slow, it's barely visible and also doesn't actually create any time paradoxes because the rotational curve is not big enough, with the suggestion being that the universe could be rotating once every 500 billion years, which would actually make it way too slow to detect easily 
but would provide enough, I guess, centrifugal force to create this Hubble tension or the change in acceleration of the universe. And so here one advantage is that this kind of avoids these time travel paradoxes and is also kind of compliant to previous non-detections of the rotation of the universe while also connecting some of the previous studies including the one where so many galaxies were shown to spin in a very similar way independent of the distance. In other words, there might be something to that spinning universe proposition after all. But this obviously doesn't prove that we live inside a black hole, and more importantly, there is absolutely no evidence for any of this. It is basically just a mathematical model. And that's actually really the catch here. Because the rotation here is so slow, it is actually below our current detection capability. Even with most powerful telescopes, we would not be able to detect any of these curves or find any evidence that the universe is spinning so slow. And so the obvious question is, okay, so how do you prove this then? Well, the best next step would be to create some kind of a computational model and specifically a supercomputer simulation where this evolving universe is simulated by adding just a little bit of a spin and then essentially seeing what we discover and comparing this to the actual observations. If these future computer simulations discover that it seems to actually create something more realistic, this would give this proposition a lot more credibility. But for now, based on what we have so far, this is yet another cool explanation, but without evidence and without actual proof, it's impossible to know if this is correct. Nevertheless, based on some of the future observations and future surveys, specifically some of the new releases from DESI and even from the James Webb, we might get some clues answering the question of is the universe spinning or not. Right now though, based on the observations from the cosmic microwave background, the answer seems to be no. But if this rotation is nearly imperceptible, it would probably not show up in the CMB either. And so until we have some future observations and more evidence, that's pretty much all I wanted to mention. Check out some of the previous videos in the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves to learn about science, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.